Hello everyone, Sons of the Tomb, welcome to another data pack overview, this time on Mob Protector. A data pack that simply adds the ability for you to create a mob protector, which will pretty much eliminate mobs from spawning in the area that it is protecting. So, what you can do is pretty much just make one with the armor stand. Just jump over here, get some coal. And we'll need a stack of that, and we'll need some torches. And you pretty much want one of these, one of these, and I'm pretty sure it's about 16 here, and it'll give you a mob protector, like so. And then it'll have its area of effect with the salt fire, um, certain particles there. So, what you can do is pretty much, as far as I can tell, use different blocks to upgrade. So just go with cobble for example, you can give it that, and it'll say R8, which I assume it's giving both of them because they're in pretty much the same area, which is fine. Um, and then there's obviously iron, gold, and diamond, which I don't know if you can use the ingots or blocks to pretty much achieve that, because the cobble one shows in the chat. But uh, otherwise, because I've got another data pack that keeps doing things, I'm unable to actually get some of the ingots and other stuff working. So we'll see, uh, can I upgrade you with iron? Yes I can. I can upgrade you with gold. Okay, so I assume you can do that where you need to have the prior tier possibly to set it up, I guess. Actually, no, okay, maybe it does work that way. Um, yeah, because I'm giving a diamond block and it's not going to work, but I do. Okay, so you can upgrade them, but you do have to have the prior tier before upgrading them, and I assume because it consumes it, it also has it in its hand, randomly. So, yeah, you can upgrade them from cobble to iron block to gold block to diamond block. It used to, I think, be the actual individual items, but it's not anymore. Um, otherwise, there is the lever, which you can use to turn it off, I guess. And I was just testing there to see if it could float, and it does. So that'll have it where it doesn't actually prevent any mobs, which I do have some slimes here. And they'll be affected, I think, by this one. Yep. And because it's a large range they're actually covering of 64 blocks, they're not going to be able to spawn at all. So I go over here, even, and I'll go to the elevator. And it's not just because I'm obviously in peaceful, because I'm obviously in normal. And 64 blocks is quite a ways away. So. And I don't think it's just because of the limitation of placing on leaves either. So the further we get in, obviously we can't. So, yeah. Not likely to be able to spawn them at all. And I'm pretty sure it's not just because of the tower either, because I have been spawning in other mobs. If I do this with, say, a zombie, for example, they'll spawn in no problem because I'm not preventing them. The way to actually prevent mobs, though, is to pretty much just have a drop that's related to them, like, say, a slime ball for a slime. Uh, let's get this here, which not really matters much. Um, let's see, we'll try with, say, a bone, I think, for a skeleton. And I can't really use rotten flesh because it's a food, and the data pack's preventing it for me for some reason now. And if we check here, we can see that we're preventing a skeleton, a stray, and the slime twice. So with paper, you can tell exactly what is being blacklisted based on what you've already given it. So we do, like, say, a spider eye or something. I assume it'll prevent a bunch of spiders and cave spiders or something. If we use paper again, you can see... Okay, this little there. String, I think, probably my spider eye. Just checking to be sure. Uh, yep. And we've got spider, not cave spider. Unless it's fermented, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's the way of obviously preventing which ones you don't want spawning. We'll try with an actual spider and skeleton. This is not going to work. We'll do a cave spider, it will. We'll do a skeleton or a stray, obviously, it's not going to work either. In the area. The skeletons, of course, will. Regular skeletons will not. Uh, other than that, though, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing really to cover is that you can use a torch to see the visible area. So I assume that's for like the maximum area that it will show off. Um, obviously, that's not equivalent to 64, 
but uh, it does share like a larger area. That's like I think the default area compared to say further out, which it doesn't show. But uh, yeah, if you want to prevent mobs without the need of torches, um, and then obviously upgrade the range at which it can do things with the following increased resources, then you can. Oh, and there is also the uh, salt torch as well, so I don't forget, which is for obviously preventing um, them from being, or you know, having them invisible instead of visible. So I can get rid of the torch there, put it in hand, and do this. So yeah, they'll hold the torch, so you can still technically see them, but uh, the rest of them is obviously invisible. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye.